attention, babe. Here's the deal. Our research says you are hot. H-O-T, hot, repeat, hot. So we at the studio think it's time you had your own TV series, huh? <laughs> really? My very own show? Stardom! Uh, sounds like a good idea. All right, picture this. Hero to millions! Overnight sensation! Breaking in a fortune! <laughs> will you work with us? Absolutely! I will be the most cooperative club in history. Fabulous! You know, I'm still not sure this cooking show idea is really me. Oh, sure it is. Come on. Research shows 53% of our audience say they'd rather watch you than eat you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they adore you. Oh, well, that's comforting. Now, we're almost on the air, so relax. Be beautiful. Be yourself. Fine. I'm good at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, and welcome back to A Crab in the Morning. Starring me, your host, Sebastian. Thank you. Anyway, won't you please welcome my first guest? <laughs> Chef Louis? Bonjour, ma petite entrée. <clears throat> uh, so, Louis, I understand you have a new recipe? Oui, c'est magnifique. I call it crab smashé. We knew that was coming, didn't we? <laughs> Guy, let's talk about your choice of guest. Go with it, Bubbler. Mmm, I love the smell of crab legs in the morning. Oh, let me straighten that out. Oh, God! I will grind your career to a halt. You will be a TV star souffle! I'm crab salad. <laughs> Cut! And another thing! I don't want that crazy chef anywhere near me! Oh, no, memento, mi amigo. Research shows 82% of your fans love to watch you two fight more than Pete and Goofy. Well, 82% of my fans are Goofy. I mean it, guy. As long as I am the star, no more Chef Louie. Okay, okay, look, hey, come on, don't worry. Everyone who had anything to do with that last show has been fired. Gone, 86, mixed. <laughs> you said it was your idea. Look, we don't have time for the facts, Sebastian. We're in television. No Chef Louis. <laughs> Besides, you are going to love this new concept. What new concept? Sebastian D. Crab, crustacean at law, take one. Your Honor, I object. Objection overruled. <laughs> uh oh, bad rating. <laughs> no, no, not exciting enough. What we need is a an exciting, fresh, fresh new sitcom. <laughs> I love Louis. Take one. I'm home! Dinner will be tout sweet, mon petit! <laughs> what are we having tonight, Louis? As if we didn't know. Mon favorite! Crab Louis! <laughs> Baba Louis! <laughs> Fred Yendo! <laughs> ah. Negatory, we need something hot, bold, totally original. D no, a science fiction show. There are only six others on the air. <laughs> Commander Crab, we're under 
attack by the static Klingons! Are there any last words, Commander Crab? Just one. Beam me up, Scooty! Driver, take me for a long ride on a short beer. Sweetheart, Bubala, I love you more than my folks. Where are you going? Back under the sea where I belong. But what about the series? What about stardom? What about integrity? You think you can just put any dumb idea on the TV and the people will watch it because you tell them to? Well, 83% of the survey takers agree that 62% of the test audience will. Ha! If that's the only way for me to be a star, then I quit. I'm out of here. <laughs> hmm. I'll bet they think twice before putting any more of that junk on the TV. <gasps> Research shows 64% of our test audience didn't flip their remotes. So this fall, watch Chef Louie as the Ninja Gourmet. The game Louie a show? Oh, well, fine. Let him act like a fool in front of millions. Let him be an overnight sensation. Let him rake in a fortune, demeaning himself. Wait a second. That should have been me demeaning myself. <laughs> I could have been a star. <laughs>